we're going to add now our honey layer or a detail layer to the pansy painting and really it's i don't ever use my paint so it's as sticky as honey but the idea here is that you have a thicker consistency of pigment a uh, much smaller ratio uh, of paint and uh, so i get a crisper line i get a more dominant uh, less transparency just more dominance in the painting these are the exclamation points that make our painting look complete and I'm going to use them to make this pansy just make the face just look a little more dominant I'm going to use it to create maybe a little bit of line as well following the shape of the petal and I am going to soften that line shape it right that way actually and maybe a bit of a line there and I'm going to move over to the next pansy over here and use a little line and honey and that's quite bold the dioxazine violet that I'm using today is extremely powerful it goes down almost black if you're using it its purest form and then when you bleed it out it just creates such a beautiful rich tone to it so adding a little bit of strong contrast it's a really good way to make your painting pop wherever you place that strong contrast it's also going to draw the viewer's eye it's it's a makes it into a look at me place so i can put that paint down in a honey kind of consistency i can bleed it out a little bit till it almost fades away like tea so we have a little bit of both strong detail and then some softness and then it gives that finished look this one i think it might still be a tiny bit damp so i might get a little bleeding as i place this honey layer of detail it's working pretty well actually just flicking with my brush to get some fine lines and look at how that just those few lines explains the, the painting it tells you what you're looking at and you really sometimes it just takes a very little detail to create those visual cues that help your viewer to understand what your painting is all about Remember that as humans, we're very good at picking up on visual cues. Uh, that's why we can read, they'll, they'll share those things on the internet with the uh, paragraph where they've taken all the vowels out and you can still read what it says. Or you're playing a game of Pictionary and somebody draws the most <laughs> random looking shape and yet you're able to guess what it is. So our eyes and our brains like to complete things. And so we're always looking for visual cues to help us interpret what we see. So that's why in loose painting, we don't feel bound to paint every detail. We paint enough detail so we create that visual guide for our, for our viewer. And we let them, their brains enjoy completing what they see, reading into it. And that little flick was a mistake there so I'm going to just modify my petal shape just a little bit rather than try to blot up a color that I think will probably have stained my paper and I can use uh, my honey layer to add some line detail into my flowers or into my leaves some veins in my leaves here with my sap green and if I add too much detail to my leaves they're going to take over the painting so that's where we keep things simple and uh, thinking of that idea of exclamation points we don't need too many to emphasize those different areas 
Okay, those are two simple demonstrations on how to use the two most basic watercolor techniques, wet on dry and wet on wet, and when to use them. There's so many ways to use them, and it can be really fun discovering them for yourself. Don't be afraid if you're feeling like it's a challenge to figure out how much water to use when. Trust that you will get better at judging that as you keep painting. The more you paint, the easier it gets, I promise. Thanks for watching this video today. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I sh I not only do I share uh, basic techniques and for watercolor and lots of helpful info for using your watercolor supplies, but I also do weekly live video lessons where you can join me live, ask questions, and paint along with me in the studio. By signing up for my mailing list, you'll never miss a broadcast, as well as receiving information on my watercolor courses at learn.angelafair.com, the workshops I teach all over the country, and uh, just be a part of my watercolor community. Thanks for watching today. Please check out the description below as well for links to supplies if you have any questions about the materials I'm using.